Lesson 1, how to set up Thinkorswim. In Lesson 1, you will learn how to set up your Thinkorswim with all my charts and my indicators that are going to come with this video series. So let's uh, kind of get right into it. What's going to happen is you're going to receive a screen, okay, or sorry, a link with a web page that is going to take you here. This is all the Thinkorswim indicators and charts. Okay. As you can see, I kind of named everything and you actually have a link right here. Okay. When this is what this link, all these charts, okay, are going to pull up through this one link. So there's a couple things you could do with this link. Okay. You can either highlight the link, control C, for copy okay and copy it or you could just click the link all by itself okay if you click the link it's going to bring you to a page here come over down here to where it says uh, save to think or swim left click and then click OK once you save it to think or swim okay what's going to happen is it's going to say uh, the workspace has been saved um, from Trader for Life on September 2nd. Click rename if you want to rename it. Click rename and you can rename it or OK. Then what's going to happen is you're going to come over to your Thinkorswim, go to Setup, and you'll see it right here where it says from Trader for Life on September 2nd. All you need to do is left click that and it's actually going to download the entire layout onto your Thinkorswim. Now I already have it done so I'm not going to do it. Another way of doing this is going back to the web page, okay, right here and highlighting it, just copy and paste the link, go back to your Thinkorswim, go to setup, and then go to open shared items and then just uh, copy and paste so control V's and Victor okay and then you could just click preview and then open and this will open the thinkorswim layout for you the same exact way okay as you could see if you scroll down the page we have a whole bunch okay charts that you're going to want to download because the reason for all the downloads is there's a lot of codes that you're going to need to copy and then save okay so something like this download the chart of thinkorswim same exact thing either click it or copy and paste okay if you want the value areas okay now this is going to be a little different so you have the charts. If I click on the charts, watch what happens. It brings this up. I can view the chart, okay? And everything that will come with the chart. If I click view and think or swim, click okay. And what's gonna happen is it's now gonna bring me a second chart. And as you can see, I now have this chart all set up for me now, okay? Now, when you go into this chart, if you go to studies, edit studies, okay, you should have all the studies and you might have to uh, copy or just save these studies, right? If you don't have any of the studies, okay, because there is sometimes a glitch with Thinkorswim, what you'll do is come back here click or copy and paste same exact routine left click on it and you'll get a chart like this and you'll say save script to think or swim select save yes okay and then it'll say the thinker script uh, study has been saved from trailer for life the same exact thing what you'll want to do is rename it Okay, just click on rename and then you'll want to call it whatever uh, you want to call it. So you'll remember you can always come back to this site and kind of figure out, okay, hey, it's the value area and the pivot points. Okay, I'm going to save it as value area chart. Okay, now another thing that you'll want to do too is with the charts. 
Okay, when you click on the chart, view and think or swim, click OK. You'll want to pull up the chart, okay? Chart's going to be right here. And then what you'll want to do is come over here to where it says Style, and then Save Style, okay? So you'll want to click it, and then name this chart whatever you want. Maybe uh, the double moving average line chart or or chart number one. It's up to you, but this is going to save all the indicators and everything for you and the chart layout with the time frame, with the RSI, with the first hour, Fibonacci's, everything that you'll need. Okay. And then... Like I said, you'll probably want to go through each one. Now, when you click on this, okay, the double moving average, it's an indicator. What's going to happen is you're going to actually want to change the settings of this indicator to this, okay? So, if you click this, save script to think or swim, yes, okay, rename, however you want to do it, we'll just click OK, then what's going to happen is we're going to come in here into studies, okay, and we're going to look for the study. And then as you scroll down, you'll, you should find the study. Um, It'll probably be down here somewhere, okay? But what's going to happen is you'll come over here, and I already have this study saved, so I'll pull it up right here. Okay, and you'll see where, it, where I name it the double moving average, okay? What you'll want to do is come to this little uh, spike wheel, left click on it, and then you're going to want to change the MA length to 20, the MA length number 2 to 200, the price to close, exponential, and then the variable, okay, from simple to variable, the exponential, okay. This is, these are the settings you're going to need to use. You could change them, but these are the ones that work best, okay. And what this is, is this is a double moving average line. Okay, and pretty much this line is this red and blue line. As price stays above, it'll stay blue. As price goes below, it changes to red. It's a great tool um, for when, when you could potentially get long or short. Sometimes there's a little chop, but you could get huge major trends like you had here, right? You could have maybe bought, and I'll zoom in here. You could have bought right on this breakout, it will say 1930, and wrote it and picked up prices currently in 1955. That's over 25 S&P points. One contract on 25 points is $1,250, okay? So that's one way um, of trading, and we'll go over each and every one of these, but this is just more of a basic run through of how to get all these settings onto your chart. Okay. And as you can see, some charts, all you need to do is click on the link, view and think or swim, click OK. And the chart's going to be there. Okay, it's going to have all the settings, everything already done for you, okay? There's no codes to download, nothing like that, okay? And you're going to have all the same settings that I currently have, okay? And then what you'll want to do is come over here to Style, Save, and then just name that, that layout, okay? It's, it's very simple and straightforward. One more thing, when you save the layouts, always click this uh, box, include patterns and study set in case there's anything that you want to save that's associated with this chart. And then going back to Thinkorswim, the, you, you'll see, especially on the layout, okay, under trade right here, 
you'll have Forex Trader, Futures Trader, Active Trader, and Pairs Trader. You'll see there's a chart for each and every one that's already pre-ordered and defined for you in it. Okay, as you can see, they're already pre-set up for you. And then if you go to the Charts tab, you'll see this Charts and then also Flexible Grid. Okay, and you'll see everything's already set up, so you're kind of ready. It's more of a turnkey, kind of like a business, right? You don't need to go out and find all the vendors and everything. Everything's right here for you. So, uh, one more thing that I want to show you, uh, or a couple things, okay, in with a thinkorswim. This is called the Active Trader. It's a dome. Okay, you see how I have my price set up where I could buy right here and then I have a limit and a stop loss. Okay, so let's say I want to buy at 1947. Everything's one click. Okay, and let me grab an arrow, right? That's my entry. This guy is my take profit or my take profit, right? And then this guy is my stop loss. As you could see, everything is literally one click, okay? If I want, let's get out of this real quick. If I want to cancel this trade, I come down here, I left click it, and the trade's gone, okay? Everything's very mechanical, very simple. I so and then right here you could see I have a whole bunch where I have two dollar two point uh, two by three, right? So what I could do is I could put an order in right here where I'm risking three uh two points or sorry, I'm risking three points to make two or vice versa. Okay, and I could put the trade in, I can move these guys up and down very simple okay and that's it that's how quick it takes to update the trade if i don't want the trade left click and it's gone to set this up you'll want to go in to where it says templates right i have it on single just go trigger with bracket okay and you'll come up with this page and then what it does is it gives you like um just one bracket right See, if I want, let's say I want to risk one point to make two. If I want to risk two points to make two. Okay, so I just hit these guys. Once I'm done with it, click save and just type in right here. Okay, just to name it whatever you want and then save it. Okay, now you can also do two or three brackets, right? So let's say you want to do... Um, two contracts okay but you want to scale in so but you want both of them to be two point stop loss but you're looking to scale out as it moves up right these are all what what's called oco one cancels the other order okay so if i enter the trade long and then my first target gets hit it's canceling the stop loss that i have at my stop loss of that one okay so then it takes risk off the table it's very mechanical of how you're able to trade if this is what you want click save and then name it and then you can also do three brackets okay you'll need to change this to three so now i could kind of scale out or and then have all my stop at the same place right let's say i want to do uh, one, two, three, but I want to risk one point on three contracts. Okay, that's so you could save it like that. And then if I want just a single, I could do it this way. Okay, so the, these are the main, the real quick day trading because sometimes we want to be in and the e-minis move so quick that I I would suggest that you put your order in like this, okay, every single time with your entry and your targets because one there there's a couple reasons for doing it. 
a they the markets move so quick sometimes that before you even know it you're already gotten out with a profit or your stop loss you don't want a bad trade to turn into a worse trade okay because you never had your stop loss in there so one way of doing kind of getting away from that is just coming over here and putting the order in all mechanically like this right another way of doing it is let's look at the chart right let's say i want to be a buyer right here on this um pivot point of 1946. well guess what i could put the order in in 1946 and go out and go shopping do whatever i want go to the other room go get ready for work whatever <coughs> you want but here's the best part it's all mechanical it's already in there once it fills you it's either going to take you out with your profit or your stop loss but you don't have to be in front of the computer to do it so i hope uh, that uh, kind of helps you out that's a quick tutorial on how to use thinkorswim um, and how to upload all of the charts and indicators if you ever have any questions you can always send an email to jason at daytradingfearless.com and i'll reply back and uh, help you help you out as much as i can so next video will be lesson number two